What's going on YouTube? JT is your born here and welcome back to another edition of my DC comic reviews and in this video we're going to talk about Night Terrors The Flash issue number two. This one's written by Alex Pactadel and art by let's see um do, 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 do. Uh, Daniel Bayliss and Tom Derenick colors by Igor Monti and Pete uh, Pentazis and all that other stuff but yes yeah, so this one is The Hard Yards Part 2 so uh, with this one I will say this one leans more heavily into the horrors of the nightmarish storylines that they got like this one takes real full advantage of this is a nightmare this is a no win scenario uh, this one takes a really dark approach that in some ways kind of reminded me a bit of the flash movie that just came out recently where you had kind of the three variants like the third one as the dark flash who just tries to keep doing these things to kind of fix the timeline but slowly kind of deteriorates and kind of breaks all these rules of like killing and all that stuff because like barry in this world is like uh with his he kind of gets like turns more into a nightmarish creature as the things go along like he's like pretty much kills uh hal at one point uh he steals thon's speed and pretty much just mutilates him or like i guess he's kind of dead within this nightmare state and he keeps kind of keeps trying to go back and face off against this never-ending monster thinking he's kind of fixing things uh until he's kind of pulled out of his nightmare by wally because he was causing all this damage around the world uh with his speed force so the whole thing was just like as he, he was kind of almost in this little bit of a trance where he's fighting all these nightmarish things and it wasn't until wally kind of came along and caught up to him and broke him free of it that he realized like what he was doing in his sleep so i think the reveal itself was rather interesting uh the way it kind of unfolds and again like the other ones is it really all that necessary if you want the key ingredients for night terrors no is it look to kind of pick up some threads maybe in night terrors night send uh i guess so uh we'll just have to kind of wait and see what those are but i thought the horror aspects of this issue actually worked out quite well and there's the, the nightmarish imagery and i like the fact that this one was kind of a not so great one for for Barry. If you like, this one takes advantage of this being a nightmare, where it's like if Barry wasn't rescued by Wally, things could have gone a whole hell of a lot worse. Like he wasn't winning this game, and I think that's one of the things that kind of made it stand out. Because some of the other ones were like, you look at the opposite with Hal, where he just has a little bit of fun, where he's kind of tormenting his tormentor, or the other ones are like just the power of family and all that other stuff helps him power through. With the Barry one, no, this one it was not going to end well for him until somebody kind of came in and bailed him out, if you will. So I like that aspect to it. I think that's one of the things that helps make this issue stand out uh the really kind of disturbing nightmarish qualities uh to it as well uh with barry like becoming sort of like the villain of the story if you will i think that made it a little bit more interesting and kind of exciting to kind of read so because it is a nightmare you do do things in dreams that you wouldn't necessarily do in the real world and i think this one takes more advantage of that and i i, I like that aspect to it but uh yeah so not necessary for the night terrorist thing but if you want something that has a little bit more of an edge to it and really kind of showcases the unhappier ending side to these types of nightmares then i think you'll get your fix with this one so again important stuff written by williamson with this event other side stuff if you want to know what's going on that's kind of the gist of it if you're looking for this then uh, something more with the horror aspects that's uh really kind of feels like an unhappier ending then you'll get this one granted things are kind of resolved with it thanks to wally kind of saving him but in terms of barry like he would not have won or gotten out of there if it wasn't for wally so there is that aspect to it so i liked i like that at least so yeah uh i feel like i've kind of rambled on a little bit again this is kind of my little rapid fire reviews because with a lot of these night terrors things they cover the same ground it's all part of one event you get you get the idea they're in sleep world uh they're facing demons and all that other stuff and they got to find a way out so yeah all right well that's all i have to say as always, take care now. Bye-bye then, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.